Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today we're going to work on a Juki DU-1181N, a, a top and bottom walking foot machine uh, from Juki Corporation. As you see, this is a full setup uh, Juki uh, 1181 uh, with table and legs and servo motor and this is how you get the sewing machine. Uh, not set up, you have an option when you go to our website to either get it set up or assembled or unassembled, but you would get everything that you see here in your package. Head, table, legs, um, and putting it together, I always say if you're handy, probably two to three hours, otherwise longer, but you could do it, and it's, um, it's a very good experience to put this together and see how the machine works. So, now, before we go on, I'm gonna show you why it's called a walking foot machine, or top and bottom. As you see, this is the bottom one, right here. This is a, what we call a plate, and a feed dog, right here. Now, on top, this is not a normal foot. This is a walking foot. There is two foot here. We call inside foot and outside foot. The inside foot is the stationary, that don't move. And the top foot, the, the outside foot is the one that really works. Uh, this is the one that feeds the fabric. Comes in and takes the fabric and put it back. This is to show any heavy stuff like canvas, leather, um, whatever is heavy. Vinyl, banners, a lot of people sew banners with this or uh, bag people make bags on this. A, this is a large hole needle, plate, uh, the machine could go up to 2,000 2, stitch per minute. Uh, the, uh, the maximum stitch right here is nine millimeter uh, for the uh, stitch size. You have from two to nine millimeters. So I have this set up already on the max just to show you guys how it works. It comes with a reverse option. So you could do reverse if you want. And it's a M bobbin, a high capacity, large capacity bobbin, M bobbin. And the reason is because we use very heavy thread. Uh, this is a 69 bonded thread. You could use, um, what we use here is T105, 100% polyester, really heavy. So the bobbin case and bobbins are class M bobbins. That's what you need to use for this machine. Um, needles are 135 by 17. You have to know this, 135 by 17. And again, you could use any sizes. I have size 14 here, but the one that comes with the machine here is size 19. Um, let's see what comes with the machine. Um, when you buy the machine, you get a large screwdriver, a medium screwdriver, small screwdriver, um, probably four or five size 21 needles, a M bobbin. Now, it, it does not look different. These are all the same. Only the one that I had here, the holes are bigger. So you get one a class M bobbin, and you get L wrench and a Juki wrench to assemble the machine. Um, you also, now this is also good for people that buy servo motor from me too. These belong to the machine, to the motor. This is a brake. I mean, these are only spare parts. This is a fuse, and these are brushes for the servo motor. Have nothing to do with the head. These are the ones that are spare parts for the motor. And you get a cover, a part book, and an instruction manual. So this is what you be getting, and I'm gonna put everything back in here, and we're gonna go ahead and see how we could work with the machine. Um, all right. So here, what I got is a very heavy duty piece of canvas, 18 ounce, uh, unbleached, untouched, unwashed, so it's very rough and tough. So um, 
let's see. I'm going to do uh, three layers uh, and see how it works. Um, again, um, I always do this before I start. Um, I crank up the machine by hand, by the wheel. So uh, the first couple of uh, stitching I like to do by hand just to make sure we're doing it right. Now, uh, if you see right here, there is a big arm here uh, going all the way to the back. And this is a part for the walking foot. So it will make, so this is a huge um, arm just to move the heavy fa fabrics back. Um, and see we have the motor on right now, you can even hear it. And here we go. Very quiet. I'm gonna get, get rid of the extra thread right here. So you guys could see the stitching. This is three layers, whoa! That was really fast. And I have it on nine. Uh, I'm gonna tie up the stitch a little bit just to see how it is. Now you could always adjust the motor as you guys know with the servo motor, but see even, let's see how it is now. Better. Okay, so this is, <clears throat> this. a lot of people wanted to know uh, why uh, a walking foot, why not regular, why not regular industrial sewing machine? And we're gonna put this to this right now. now Whenever you guys wanna take out e, the um, fabric, see, bring the needle all the way up and then play with the wheel back and forth, the way I do it, and just pull. See, it will come out easy. Now, I have two type of thread. The bottom and top are, the bottom one is nylon and the top one is polyester. That's why you see the polyester better. The nylon, you don't see the stitching really good, but if you do close up, you'll see it. Now I'm gonna tie it up the um, stitching one more time. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and make this to a, uh, from, we did three, I'm gonna do six. Um, you should be able to do it. Uh, we're gonna see. Yeah, I had to, then, Thread came out. Let me just put the thread back in there because I adjusted the. Um, and it's very easy. Always with the industrial machines, left to right, putting the needle in. And this is a big hole needle, and it's very easy for it to go in. I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. Now again, this is really heavy. Right here is six layers. We'll go ahead and do it, see if it will do. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no problem. Look at that, it's beauty. I can't even control, here you go. Now you see the stitching much better, you see that? Wow, this is a uh, six layer. Look at all those layers. This is a beauty right here. Uh, the way it works and let me just go ahead and turn. Now, uh, regarding the foot, um, these are not a uh, very popular type of foot, so you can find uh, many type of foot, but you could find a roping or zipper, but uh, uh, if anybody has a console or different type of uh, walking foot, uh, they should match. Now, if anybody wants, this is good enough, uh, but if you guys want extra foot, you could always find your foot that will uh, match this uh, type of sewing uh, machine. Uh, again, it comes with a bobbin winder right here, uh, and uh, it's a big wheel, thread stand, LED lamp, uh, let me just give you a couple of measures for people that wanted to know uh, the measurement on the machine. The tables are always the same. 47. Is that, is the, 
length and then 21 and a half you get the bobbin tray right here um, let me pull that out and do the bed of the machine is 19 inch and it will go as high as uh, half an inch, even more than half an inch. And if you go on our website, goldstartool.com, you'll see a lot of um, information regarding the, the machine, uh, what it could do and how fast you could go. Uh, needle ball stroke, 36 and a half millimeter. The length, as I said, uh, it's um, nine millimeters, set zero. Obviously you can't do zero from two to nine millimeter. Uh, knee lift, 15 millimeter. So it says that the lift is 15 millimeter. Um, a very top to bottom, a beautiful, beautiful machine for people that wanna do uh, walking foot. Um, I love it. I just did this huge stack and I think I could do more uh, of this, but I just don't wanna push it. I don't wanna break the needle. But I'm, I'm sure we could do, see this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and it just went through a like, uh, oh my God, it just did it, and I'm gonna do, let me go forward a bit. And I could go back. See, this is the reverse. And then I'm gonna go, and whoa. Good machine, a very good machine. Uh, please let me know what you want me to do next on uh, YouTube videos that we've been doing for you guys. Give us a thumbs up and uh, comment and below. Please write us a comment, thumbs up, uh, uh, and any question, let us know. Thank you for watching. Visit our website, goldstartool.com.